my chat one two one two glitchy the nigga shit bad shawty fact magazine what's up baby i'm a juice bag in my dooley cause i pull another deuce who that in that billy cool that just the love of food and i shit bad smack the shit out you to the top back one clean size finest man young glee shit bad shawty and all that there man from northeast dc um Right now, we're in Austin, Texas, South by South Gleesh. You know what I mean? You're cordially invited to South by South Gleesh this year. Your favorite rapper, your favorite rapper was just me trying to snatch the uh, the other fan base that I ain't probably got my hand on yet. Like I did a song with Lean and Sad Boy. Um, I'm pretty sure never nobody in Sweden heard of me before, you know what I mean? Before Shawty heard of me. He probably only heard of me because he in the industry. Type shit, you know what I mean? So if he wouldn't even been in the industry, he probably wouldn't even heard of me. But after that song, your know my name, you know what I mean? So it's like, yeah, that's what that mixtape was about, just reaching out to another demographic. It's too deep, young, lame bitch. Lean by the bottle, go by the bottle, who go for twaddle, go by the bag, boy. It's sad, boy. Switzerland bank account, yeah. Next thing you hear from me, my next tape, Clean Size Finest 3, part 3. Um, as those who know, Clean Size Finest was not my first tape, but like my first tape that really pushed me to, you know what I mean, a, a status in this industry where, you know what I mean, people started looking at me. Because the tapes I was doing before, nobody was hearing. So Clean Size Finest part 1 was like, I guess you could say my first classic tape. That's how the streets call it, my first classic tape. And even two, even the second one, part two, was another classic. So you already know I'm going to just come hard on this third one. Already dropped the uh, the song Water. Everybody been going hard on that Water joint, so um, I killed that shit uh, like last month. I got some water. Oh, that's your dollar. I gave her water. I got this goop bottle here for Wild Waller. I go everywhere. I can go in Florida, and we they going through the same problems I'm going through, and I go in Atlanta, and they going through the same shit I'm going through. It's just different ways about how they go through and go about it, you know what I mean, and deal with the situation. But as far as it's just it's life, man, because for real, for real, I wouldn't fuck with no Russian nigga. Just like I wouldn't fuck with no Jamaican nigga. Or no Chinese nigga, or no motherfucker Klu Klux Klan nigga, or none of them motherfuckers. That motherfucker will fuck you up just like the next man will fuck you up, man. You know what I mean? I don't sleep on no man. You know what I mean? So, DC. Well, as far as motherfuckers, I guess the what well, the question was, what do y'all need to know about the real DC? It ain't just the White House. That's what y'all need to know, straight up. It ain't just the White House. Basically, bottom line. So don't come around there thinking you just touring and doing. Uh, be a tourist around you. Once it stopped looking like government buildings, you need to turn back around if you willing to see the, that uh, government building shit. Cause other than that, you going back in the hood. Everybody else had their turn to shine. You know what I mean? You only got a little bit, you know what I mean? A certain amount of time while you hot, you know what I mean? You only as good as your last product. New York was hot for a minute. And Cali and New York was hot around the same time. This shit, then it went down to uh, Atlanta and uh, Chicago and everywhere, you know what I mean? So everybody get their little shot. So I guess it's DC turn.